Hey guys, and welcome to the Woolen Homestead. This is a knitting, spinning, hand dyeing yarn, and pretty much anything else yarn related video podcast. My name is Tiffany, and I'm coming to you from Midland, Michigan. You can find me on various social media as the Woolen Homestead, as well as my hand dyed yarns at thewoolenhomestead.etsy.com. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you had a good week, got lots of crafting done. I didn't get a ton of crafting done, but um, I had a very busy shop week and that was just the coolest feeling ever. So I'll talk more about that in shop news, but thank you guys um, to anybody that, that placed an order over the weekend. Um, I really, really appreciated it. So yeah, um, I don't have any finished objects this week. Um, and I only worked on a couple things, so I will show you guys what I worked on. So first up is my Lucinda sweater by Carrie Bostic Hogue. And I moved it into my Knit Picks bag, which is weekend plans, knitting with a chance of movie marathons. So, and this is definitely, in my case, uh, generally not the, the weekend plans because I always work on weekends, but it's my, my midweek plans, so. <laughs> um... So I worked on this, like, this was my primary project this week. Um, it's kind of a mess, so I'll show you guys this very carefully. <laughs> but I'm really happy how far I've been getting on this. So, okay. Here, my progress keeper right there is where I was at last time. So this is what I got done. Here's the whole thing, and the lighting isn't like totally blowing it out this time, which makes me happy. It's kind of overcast today. It's kind of feeling like fall a little bit. It was like 85 degrees the last couple of days here, and it's actually kind of nice today. It's not, you know, like super chilly, but I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not humid. So, um, oh yeah, in this Progress Keeper, let me turn it around here. Oh, I think I have it hooked on backwards. Um, is that sweet little cinnamon roll? Oh my gosh, that's from Amanda from Little Bitty Delights on Etsy. And I love, I love cinnamon rolls, so I had to, had to put that one on there. It just makes me, okay, I think like, cinnamon rolls are totally fall, and this project is like a super fall sweater, so I thought they went well together. Um, so basically what you're looking at is, um... This is the back right here. So there is like a v-neck in the back and the front. So this is the back and I've got like three balls of yarn going which is messy and I'm actually going to add in another one um, so that way I can alternate rows on each side of the v-neck here. And but yeah I'm super stoked with how this is coming along. Um, this is the other side of it but I don't like to leave um, I don't like to like stop at the end because the um, these little like end of round markers are still on there. I don't know if I need to keep them on there anymore, but I just didn't want to get rid of them and then, you know, I don't know. I just kept them on there. So I'm trying to not leave this project in the bag um, in, at the end. So this is the front right here with all these little markers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that's the front. And I wanted to mention, because I kept these little markers on here. I don't need them on here right now. But I thought I would explain to you guys what I did with them. Um, this is the front. And so when I had done the amount um, of the body before it said to start, you know, working on the back, um, you know, you had to take the whole amount of stitches and like um, put a marker at the halfway point. So what I like to do, and I'm, this might be a trick that you guys already know, but maybe for somebody new might not have thought of this, but what I like to do is when I'm counting my stitches, if I have like over a hundred, you know, that I got to count, um, even if I don't have over a hundred, it's just like a safe, like a safe way to not lose your counting. Um, I put a little stitch marker at every 20. So that way I can just, you know, go two, four, six, eight, and you know, and count it like that. Um, that way, like I said, in case you get messed up while you're counting, um, you generally can get at least 20 counted out and place a marker. Um, and so that's that's how I count. And I just, like I said, I haven't taken these off yet, but um, I don't think I need them on there anymore. But yeah, just a trick if you guys didn't know that or um, hadn't thought to try that. 
but yeah, there's the, the sweater and I'm so excited about how it's growing um, and the progress I'm getting on it. It's been really fun working on something else that's not just in the round right now um, because I was just kind of ready to get something a little bit more, I don't know, more for the brain, <laughs> but yeah, really happy. Um, this is yarn that I dyed. Actually, I've got it all. I've got a, one more hank left. So this is it. Yeah, it's blowing out again. But it's just this really like burgundy red color. So yeah, very happy with that. Um, let's see. And I'm using high high sharps for that love. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say about my Lucinda sweater. So. Um, next I'm going to talk about, um, let's see. Oh, my secret Christmas net. I'm not going to actually talk about it, but you know, I've been mentioning it. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I did post a picture of it on Instagram. So if you want to go see what I'm talking about, if you're curious, um, I just posted about it this morning so you can go check it out there if you'd like. And, oh, the other thing I wanted to share was I have been talking about um, participating in the Stephen West Knits, um, the Mystery Knit Along, the Speckle and Pop Shawl. And let me see if I can get this situated. I want to show you guys my yarns. So I think I showed you guys my main yarns, but I got my minis dyed. So these are my main yarns that I'm using, and these are all yarns that I dyed. So it's just, it's just super cool to be able to do that. Um, but this is Nebula. And I think I've got, I've got one skein of this left in the shop, but I'll talk more about that later. Um, and this is Back to the Fuchsia. I love my pinks. And then Nymphadora Tonks. So those are going to be my main colors. Then you're supposed to do five 20 gram minis that are like brights, like pops, speckle and pop. Um, like pops of color throughout. So I dyed up a couple of minis. So I've got this like aqua color and I have this like emerald green and I have orange and these are all speckles that are in those yarns. Oh yeah, this yellow, this yellow mini skin got so tangled up in the pot, but that's the back side. <laughs> I tried to like stuff it into spots here, but yeah, I'm going to have to just wind that one into a ball. Um, fairly soon. I don't think it's going to stay in the hank for very long. So, and I want to get, um, my stuff ready anyways, but there's my little blue one as well. So I'll show you guys, I'll try and show you guys everything together. So these are the little minis together. And these are my yarns. So yay. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. My first mystery knit along and I can't wait. I'm hoping, okay, here's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that I'm not gonna be able to keep up. That's what I'm worried about. Um, I guess they come out every Friday for like four or five weeks. So I'm probably just going to take a back seat, um, to knitting anything else and just work on that. So I think that's, what's going to happen. <laughs> be prepared <laughs> that the content on here is probably going to be mostly that, um, when, when I do podcast. So Okay, and the other project I worked on this week, and this is barely anything that I worked on, um, is my uh, sock head hat by Kelly McClure in my little bobbins project bag with the cute little sheepy and the leaf. I always have to show off the leaf because I just think that's so stinking cute. And this is um, worked out of Brooklyn Tweed Loft in the wood smoke colorway. I really like this yarn. It's really fun. And here is, oh, I think I'm all tangled up. Here's how it's knitting up. So once again, not very far at all. I think I worked on this um, last Monday, which was the day I recorded last. And um, I had gone for a walk and I like took this with me and like knitted while I walked, which is really fun to do, by the way. I strongly encourage it. Um, it's just really fun. But so I worked on that and that was pretty much the only time I did it. So the rest of the time it's been my secret knitting and the sweater. So, um, oh, and those are Chiaogu needles. Um, 
I believe I'm using a size 2. Uh, US 2. Let's see. Yes, 2.75 millimeters. And I really like them. I really like those needles a lot. I'm a metal needle fan. I do feel like there are places um, that I can use wood needles, and I really like them, you know, when I need them, but um, preferably if it's a, if it's a tighter gauge uh, project, I like metal needles. And next, uh, we'll move into knit alongs. So I've got the, um, the year long knit along, which is the basket of mittens knit along. And that's where we met knit, uh, <laughs> knit mittens. And, um, if you go to the Ravelry group, which is the Wellen Homestead, you can read more about that and how to enter. And, um, the other knit along that we're doing is the, my favorite color is October Cal. And the hashtag for that is, um, uh, my fave color is October Cal. And, um, that is going on until October 31st and um works in progress are allowed and oh if you use the my favorite colors october colorway um which i don't have any on hand but um if you use that colorway um you get double the entries so yeah um i should have more of that coming up um i'm all sold out of it currently um but i will be dying more yarn tomorrow so i will have more and I wanted to show you guys off the prizes. Um, so one of the prizes is this little bag and charm kit from Daisy Girl and Company. And she does have a coupon code for you guys right now. Um, the coupon code is FAVECOLOR15 for 15% off in her shop. And, and that's for any of her fabrics. Um, or for anything in her shop in general. And then... We have um, another prize is from Little Bitty Delights, who did the little um, uh, cinnamon roll charm. It's this little um, caramel apple charm. <gasps> ah, so cute. I love it. That's so stinking cute. So there's that one. And then there will be a skein of yarn from my shop, which the, um, the, the winner will choose. And then we also got a new donation. Um, which is from Mary, who is um, Crafty Tuts on Instagram, and um, she has the, that's her website as well, and she is a pattern designer, and so she donated a pattern, so I figure I will draw from the chatter thread for, uh, for a free pattern from her, and um, we'll do that at the end of the knit along. So, I mean, she does knit and crochet patterns. So yeah, and her stuff is super cute. She also has a ton of free patterns. Oh my gosh, she's got some really cute stuff, you guys. You should really go check her out. Um, and her her website is really, really nice. I was looking around on it and um, just really cute stuff. So go check her out. That's Mary. And um, thank you, Mary, for the, the pattern donation as well as um, Amanda and Sherry um, for your donations as well. So yeah, that's it for the knit along. Um, the... Sock head hat is what I'm working on and my sweater really. My sweater is still very a fall fall knit along. And I don't know if I did mention this, but the, the point of the knit along is knit anything fall related. Um anything. <laughs> Mittens, hats, scarves, sweaters, things like that. Anything that you feel is fall. It can be socks, it can be anything. Um that can be uh eligible for it to enter. And next I thought I would do a little um podcast shout out segment. I haven't done that in forever. So I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, so a few of the podcasts that, um, I wanted to give a shout out to are, uh, Emily of Goldberry Artisans. Hello, Emily. She, um, she has a really, really sweet podcast. I was watching hers and, um, she, she makes really beautiful, like, um, uh, intros to her, to her videos. And, Oh, there was a song on there, um, from the one that I was listening to this morning and I really liked it. I went and downloaded it. It was called, um, oh goodness. I'll put it down here cause I can't remember. Um, Band of Gold is the song. Grey Havens, I think is who it was. Um, but yeah, it was really good. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, she has a really, really sweet podcast and I really enjoyed it. Um, she was knitting with my yarn and gave me a really, really sweet shout out. So I just wanted to thank her for that. So, um, it was just so sweet. And then Amanda, um, who I talked about last week, she has the yarn snob gabs, 
podcast. And um, I just kind of wanted to give her another shout out at, in the official podcast shout out section. Um, because I just, I really enjoyed watching her podcast. She um, likes a lot of bright colors like I do. And um, her little polymer clay guys are just so cute. And they're just adorable. And I love them. I love the little Pop-Tart one. She has a little Pop-Tart one. It's so cute. And, um, but yeah, I just really like the work that, that she does. So, um, go give her a check out as well. And then Jennifer of Driftless Knitting, who I've, I'm pretty sure I've talked about her before. Um, but I just think she's great. And I, I love watching her podcast. She's been out for about a year and, um, sorry if you can hear the cat whining. I don't know if you can hear that, but she's really, really upset. <laughs> I think she wants some food, some, a midday snack, but, um, yeah, so Jennifer of Driftless Knitting, she, <laughs> I hope you can't hear that. Um, she just, I love the stuff that she talks about. Um, I feel like her knitting is just very, um, I don't know, it's just very well thought out. And I always love the projects that she's working on. And she loves Laura Ingalls Wilder, which so do I. And so that's just always fun. And she's like right there in, in the, the Laura country, so that's cool. And, um, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, she reminds me of some of my friends from college and I just think that we would get along, you know, just well. <laughs> so yeah, that is Jennifer and, um, go give her a check out. And then the next thing I would like to talk about is shop news. So, um, you guys are amazing and I cannot thank you enough for, um, the things for, for the weekend, you guys all, like basically bought out everything that I had and it was just so sweet and really, really appreciated. And, um, I'm going to be hitting the dye pots tomorrow and I'm going to get some more stuff, um, back in the shop for you guys. Um, I introduced a new colorway called Witch Better Have My Candy and, um, I cannot take credit for the name. I got that off Pinterest, but I love puns. I love them. They just make me laugh so much. And so, uh, I had found that name and I just thought it was too funny. So, um, that will be back in the shop. I will be dying some more of that and, um, I'll dye more of my favorite colors, October, um, sweater weather. Definitely. I'll have more of that. And, um, yeah, I'll probably just do mainly those, um, just to get enough back in the shop for you guys to have them through the fall season. So, and then soon I'll be dyeing some Christmas yarn. I haven't, I haven't started dyeing it yet, but it's getting close. So maybe next month I'll, I'll start up with the Christmas yarn again. And, um, I do have a new colorway. Um, it's right here. This is, first of all, I want to preface this with, I did not dye this yarn. This was dyed solely by my husband, Ethan. Um, I was at work one day and I just get this text of this yarn that he dyed. He's like, I dyed you some yarn. And I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. And so, yeah, he said he, that he dyed it for the shop and, um, I just, I was so amazed. Like, this is so pretty. <laughs> I love it. I'm really tempted to keep a stain for myself because I really love it. But this is, uh, Professor Sprout. <laughs> so Harry Potter fans know Professor Sprout is the professor of herbology. And this just screamed Professor Sprout to me, so... I want to undo this too and show you guys. Um, I just think it's beautiful. Look at those speckles. Oh, I just love it. So yeah, that's Professor Sprout and I think it's amazing and I love it. Oh, and I wanted to mention too, this is on a new base. This is on um, the singles base. This is really loosely tied up so you can see it pretty well. But um, yeah, so this is a new singles yarn that I've got. And I just, I love it. It's so soft. It's 100% merino. And it's, oh my gosh. It's so cozy. But yeah. Oh, it's such just little, little speckles. So yeah, I just think this would be beautiful on a shawl. And with, you know, all singles yarn or mixed up, you know, but I just, I think this would just be beautiful or maybe paired in like a brioche pattern. So I love that. Um, 
I was just so surprised when he sent me that that picture. I just I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I like showed all my coworkers. I was like, look what Ethan did. This is so cool. But yeah, so that's Professor Sprout. Um, that should be up in the shop today, which today is Monday, September 18th. And I always post on Instagram when I put things in the shop. So um, feel free to turn on post notifications if you want to know when things are going in. Um, but yeah, so that should be up uh, by the time this, this video is uploaded. So, um, and then as far as what else is in the shop, I don't have much, thanks to you guys. So I will show you what's left. Um, this is Nebula. So it's got the pinks and the purples. And then I have one skein left of Nymphadora Tonks. Yeah, and these are on my sturdy sack base. This is County Fair Sunset on my sturdy sack base. I've got one of these. Pinks and purples, my favorite. I've got one skein left of Dragon Scale. Which is a very dual toned. Love that. Which is also Harry Potter inspired. Slash Game of Thrones. <laughs> then I've got Aurora, which is on my MCN base. This was inspired by an Aurora Borealis that I saw on um, Google Images. Um, but I also feel like it's very, like even more so, I feel like it's very Disney inspired. Um, Aurora was Sleeping Beauty. So I feel like it really fits that well. And I love Disney, so... I feel like it works. Um, this is Life as the Bubbles on my Sturdy Sack base. So we've got teals and purples and pinks and yellow. And Life as the Bubbles on my Merino Cashmere Nylon base. Which is kind of cool to see the difference um, between how those dye up. And, oh, I've got one skein of Back to the Fuchsia. So I have one skein of each of the... Um, of my main colors for my speckle and pop shawl. So I have one of each of those. And then I have one skein of Half Blood Prints. So and that's the, the greens and yellows and blacks. Another Harry Potter. Harry Potter yarn. So yeah, that's it for the shop. Crazy. <laughs> I just, oh, I couldn't believe it. You guys are just so sweet and oh, you guys are making my dreams come true. So thank you very much. I really really from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate it. Um, oh, I also forgot to mention what I'm drinking. My Hogwarts mug this week. And this is, um, decaf coffee. Cause I found out that caffeine and I are not friends, which is very frustrating cause I love caffeine, but it does not like me. So I have to just keep it at a real, real minimum. Um, and then this is pumpkin spice coffee creamer. I love it. So it's actually like kind of cozy out today. I don't know. It says it's 71, but it's like a chilly 71. So I like it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to talk about you guys this week. Um, yeah, that's all I have on my show notes. So sorry, this is a little bit of a shorter episode, but I know sometimes it's kind of nice to have shorter episodes to, um, you can, they're a little bit easier to get through. So I hope, um, hope it's a good length for you guys. Um, I hope you guys all have a great week. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like this video. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.